Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass and welcome to 2016. Yes, it is a new year, so I thought it'd be a good time to catch up with you guys and talk you through some of my plans for the next 12 months. So I asked you to submit your questions on Twitter and on Instagram, and I'm now gonna sit down and answer some of them. I've slightly relocated because I don't know if you saw in the previous shot there was a big bin bag in the background. Anyway, one question you've all been asking is about the wrap on my phone. Red wrap, hashtag red crew, on my phone. I'll put the information in the description below. You can go check them out. It's good, it's fun, it's just a bit of a laugh. Right, let's crack on with the questions. Underscore dot nyan dot underscore. What was your favorite moment of 2015, brackets, car related? Hmm, now that is an interesting one because basically my favorite thing about being in this car world, this YouTube car thing, uh, was actually being able to make a video on Bali this year, or last year. Last year? Oh, it's gonna be very confusing. So, you may or may not have seen it, but back in the summer in August, I made a video called Bali, the best place in the world, or something like that, and it talked about why I think Bali is one of the best places in the world. You see some wacky and bizarre cars in Bali. Now, I've been going to Bali all my life. I've been very, very lucky by the fact that we, I've spent a lot of time there with my family and it's an incredibly special place to me. So to be able to go there on holiday, but also make a video and kind of share it with you guys on YouTube was something I loved. I just love, I just, I literally, that is probably one of my favorite videos I've made all year slash the whole time on YouTube. Stiago underscore Saurus, Stiago Saurus. Stegosaurus? Oh, maybe. What motor shows slash events will you be attending in 2016? The other day, me and Paul Wallace actually met up to talk through our 2016 plans and my God, it's gonna be a busy year if we manage to achieve everything we want to achieve. I am almost certain that I will be in Monaco for the Formula One Grand Prix. I will be hopefully at Goodwood Festival of Speed. I'm not sure which days. I wanna try and get to Le Mans. Le Mans? Le Mans? Le Mans. Is it Le Mans? Le Mans. Le Mans. Anyway, I'd like to go to the 24 hour race because <laughs> I heard amazing things about it last year. Apparently it was so much fun. Uh, so I'd really be keen to try and get down to that. I really am planning to get out to America at some point this year. Um, hopefully around sort of uh, August, September time, but again, still TBC um, to be confirmed. Make sure you follow me on Twitter because I'll definitely be updating people as the diaries get confirmed. Right, this is quite boring. Should we go on a drive? I think we should go on a drive. I still love this car. Ah, I still love this car so much. Right, let me get a question going so we can drive off and I can speak to you. Ah, Jack Shepherdson on Twitter. Have you ever been to Australia? Great question, Jack. Let's discuss. The simple answer is no, I've never been to Australia. However, I have a bizarre affinity to Australia. Firstly, I seem to fall in love with Australian girls every day, basically. And I think this is because I have gr grown up around a lot of Australians. Uh, my godmother is Australian. One of my dad's best friends is Australian. My business partner is Australian. Um, I had a, an Australian nanny, apparently, when I was sort of like three years old. Don't know what my parents were doing. Lazy bastards. So, I think, I think Australia's got to be on the cards. If not this year, 2017. Samuel Gachter? 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 On Instagram. Are you going to do a longer road trip than to Monaco? I mean, a trip through Europe. So this comes back to the discussions that I was having with Paul Wallace this week about our plans for 2016. And last year in the 4C, after Top Marks in Monaco, which is the big car show in Monaco, we joined up with Shmi 150 for the tail end of his Where's Shmi tour and did a massive like Euro trip sort of convoy with other supercars um, back through Europe. And it was amazing. Literally one of the best things I've ever done. And yes, I really want to do something similar like that again this year. However, I'm not sure if it will literally be the same trip as in me, Paul, Tim, all those other guys. Who knows? But we are trying to sort out some kind of plans to do an epic Euro road trip. Road underscore and underscore rubber. What will your next mod to the car be? 
I'm not going to tell you what the mod is going to be. You'll have to stay tuned. <laughs> but there will be mods being made. Extrema Sea Bashers. Extre Extrema Sea Bashers? Are you going to get a daily car? I've been asked this quite a lot, not just around this Q&A, but on Twitter constantly people are asking me, am I going to get a daily? When I had the 4C, it was something I was talking about a lot, and I think my kind of indecision about what to do with the 4C was driving me to think, okay, well, if I got a daily car, it would make the situation a lot better. But now I've got this F-Type, I really don't feel like there's a need to have a daily. This thing is my daily, and it is perfect. Adnan Ibrahim on Twitter. Oh, Adnan, if you don't know Adnan from Car Throttle, then you haven't lived. He has an awful M3. <laughs> Teasing you, Adnan. He's asked, who is your favorite brown car guy? Asking for a friend. Well, Adnan, I think to be honest, it's between Lord Aleem and Mo Vlogs. <laughs> Adnan would be so pissed off right now. It's you, Adnan. You're my favorite brown car guy. Bobby Jelenic. Bobby, Bobby Jelenic. Do you plan on keeping the F-Type through 2016 or are you going to sell it and get something like a 570S or a 430 Scud? Ooh! I'd love either of those. Do I plan on selling the F-Type in 2016? No! <laughs> I mean, I've literally had this car for what, two months? And I know I got rid of the 4C quickly, but there were a lot of factors into why. I usually keep cars, I think. Well, actually, that's a really bad example. <laughs> I've changed cars quite quickly previously before. Woo. But no, I, I really don't think I do. I am loving this F-Type so much. And it is, for me right now, I believe the perfect car. For everything I need, it is the perfect car. I think maybe at some point in 2017 I'll change. Maybe. We'll wait and see. But what I, I will be far more open with you guys. The last two car reveals have been surprises, I know. I think next time when I decide to change the cars, I say in a year or so, I would imagine, um, I'll be much more open. Let's go on a journey together. Let's go on a journey together, people, and pick a car together. Slash, I'll definitely pick it myself, but I'll pretend like I'm listening to your advice. <laughs> Eddie Farrer, when are you getting a Richard Mill? <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that right, by the way, so trolls, back off. So, uh, Eddie, thank you for the question. Hi, by the way. Um, he's talking about watches. So, if you don't know, watches are a huge part of seeing through glass because I'm obsessed with them. I am currently wearing an Omega Speedmaster in 1996, and you'll know from my logo, from Instagram, if you follow me on there, and from Twitter, I'm always posting watch pictures, and some people hate them, but... I like them because I like watches. Um, I do not plan on buying a Richie Richard Mill. Richard Mill. Uh, anytime soon because I personally don't like them. I'm a Rolex obsessive. William Quirk. How can you have a haircut if you have no hair? Well, thanks for pointing that out, William. Um, I actually cut my own hair. I do. Because, you know, I do still have hair around the sides. I just don't have it on the top. So this stuff, like, if I don't cut that, it'll be, I'll look like Einstein. Tibaut Vivani. I mean, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. What the hell? How is that even an Instagram name? Anyway, what program do you use to edit your videos? I edit all my videos using Final Cut Pro on the Mac. That was simple and easy, wasn't it? Martin Minar. You've done a bunch of collaborations last year with fellow YouTubers. Are you going to continue to do that? And who do you wish you could do a collaboration with? That's a great question, Martin. So yeah, I was really lucky to do a lot of collaborations, some sort of formal and some less formal. Um, I'd love to do a collaboration with Salamandrin at some point, if I got the chance. Um, we actually met whilst we were in Dubai. We happened to be um, at the same place at the same time, and he was an incredibly nice guy, and I just love, absolutely love what he's doing on YouTube. I'd love to do some collaborations with some of the more sort of lifestyle vloggers as well. Um, some of the gamers, Ollie from Mumbo Jumbo. I mean, I'm never going to say no to collaborations. I would love to collaborate with loads and loads of different YouTubers. Um, it's just so much fun. It's really fun working with other people. Apart from the traditional YouTubers, I'd love to also collaborate with Kylie Jenner, Selena Gomez and Jess Woodley from Made in Chelsea. Honey, Joe Smith, 96. If you had the chance, would you swap your F-Type for the actual Project 7 F-Type? Hells yes! George Batley, 88. 
Are you going to change your intro with the new mods on the F-Type? Yes, absolutely. Um, so obviously I made all the modifications to my car quite a long time ago now, but the intro for all of my videos has remained the stock car. We are hoping to do it this week, so um, I should have the new intro ready soon. I hope so, because it's just weird at the minute. Simon H. Lawson. Lawson? What's the best thing about being a YouTuber? I mean, it's got to be the opportunities that you get. I mean, I have always been obsessed and in love with cars. Just absolutely always loved cars. And I kind of like always said to myself, you know, at some point in life, God, I just love to do stuff with cars or be around cars. And I was that guy who was sitting at home, like looking at Shmi on Instagram and YouTube being like, who is this guy? How does he get to live this life? Now, I'm in this really fortunate position where I get to have these amazing opportunities to be around these incredible cars, sit in them, drive them, experience them. It's, it is mad when you think about it. Toby underscore Budge, what was your poster car as a child? Lots of people will know this. My poster car was a Ferrari 360 Challenge Tradani. Corinna Mark, are you a believer? <laughs> I think you'll all know from my constant trolling of him that Paul Wallace is not only a believer, but like just an obsessive, like a stalker. And so being around Paul as much as I have been the last year, it's hard not to sort of, he just plays Bieber all the time. He's always talking about Bieber, and he's like showing you pictures of Bieber and playing his music. You get a bit caught up in the whole like, the Bieber thing. And now I do find that I quite enjoy his music. Damn you, Paul. So there we go. There you have it, a few of your questions answered and hopefully an idea of some of the 2016 plans. I have got a lot planned for this year. I am so excited about trips, about cars, about reviews, about experiences, about collaborations. Um, there is a lot on the cards and I really hope it all comes off because I just think it'll be mega if it did. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed for all the crazy content that 2016 is going to bring. Don't start flicking gear paddles. <laughs> Who is using paddle shift in a G-Wagon. Ah. Ah. Going fast in this car is really terrifying. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm not a very technical guy. I don't know anything about it. Keep watching my reviews. <laughs>